Are you starting? You should start. It is started. Oh, it is? <laughs> okay. This, what is this? Is this buttercream? No, it's, that's ganache. This is ganache? Yes. You know what this reminds me of? Pepto? Have you seen Ghostbusters 2? Yes. There's like, I saw it when I was like really young, and it scared, it scared me really bad. And there was like this part in the bathtub where, um, I think it's Sigourney Weaver's in the bathtub. We already talked like, about weird stuff. All of the bad, like all the bad feelings inside of New York is like turning oh, into yeah. this booth. And it starts no, coming out of her, it starts coming out of the bathtub. It scared, scared me Here's so your bad. Vodka. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> is it vodka or is it not vodka? You'll never know. <laughs> I'll never know until about five minutes from now. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everybody to Sugar Geek Show Live. We are back with our whole team together. I'm yep. Liz Merrick. This is Dan. Hello. <laughs> Michelle's over here working the camera. Woo -woo. And you guys are here, so everybody's attending. Yeah, we're very glad to have Michelle back. She was gone last week and we had to we had to wean it ourselves by hitting it's buttons on the fun. screen. It's and not fun. It was not fun. Um, she makes it look really easy as that. Um, no. This is where we make cool stuff live for you guys to watch. Um, we just, I basically just decide like the day before, like, hmm, what are we going to do? Yeah. And then I make Dan do it. <laughs> I was, um, I was baking cakes yesterday and I was shaking them in the oven and uh, they stopped, they stopped going like this on the top. So I took them out and I was sticking the toothpicks in and like, Liz, it's not done yet. And putting them back in for like half an hour. And then like Liz later is like, you're never supposed to take the cakes out and Until do the done. toothpick thing. You're supposed to do that in the oven well, because if you do that and and it's not set well, right, the whole thing collapses. And I was like, he said, I don't know. He, I'm like outside watering the plants, and he says, Hey, Liz, I'm not sure if the cakes are done yet. They're on top of the oven, and I left the oven on just yeah. in case. And I was like, Think it would be super helpful. I was like, What are you talking about? If they're not done, you can't take them out of the oven. He's like, What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, turned out good though. They so I got lucky. <laughs> they were fine. Um, but uh, yeah, that's just a little insight into why we make Dan do stuff because he's literally a noob. He has no idea what he's doing. I'm an idiot. No! <laughs> no you're a beginner. I am green. And if you say that you're an idiot, then other people are going to feel like they're idiots. Uh, That's well, not true. <laughs> you're, you're, not, you're not an idiot. I'm an idiot. I, I, keep, I keep making these jokes and then I realize I'm like really putting people down live on camera and I feel horrible about it because that's not the type of person I am. We have to have a talk <laughs> yeah. about what's Dad, funny and what's appropriate. It's not okay to make fun of people that have gotten GEDs. <laughs> that is a big deal, you know, and so I feel terrible because I'm just like, ah, I'm not saying whatever. So it, it, you're not an idiot. Anyways, can we just get to the episode already? Gosh. Yeah. We're going to start putting tape in this these episodes is like okay don't talk down <laughs> uh today we are uh talking about some fun things um as you know on sugargeekshow.com our online tutorial school every month we give out some elite gifts and this month we're giving out some really cool sprinkles from sweet to polita just feel like you're <laughs> When you say, when you say Sweet Apolito, <laughs> you're pretty good at that. I've, I've practiced. A little bit, a little bit, uh, yeah. plus there. Yeah. So, these are the sprinkles. If you've never heard of Sweet Apolita, I just want to say that over and over again. Sweet Apolita. She's a really Sweet cool, uh, <laughs> decorating blogger. And she also has sprinkle mixes that she sells, which sprinkle mixes are super like on trend right now. Yeah. I'll stop moving this around so Michelle can actually Thank focus you. on this. This is, a very, this is a very cool mix. I think this is their uh, Starlight Galaxy mix or something like that. Or it, I don't know. It, it just feels to me. It feels like a unicorn cake. Right. But right. It's a sprinkle but, it, mix. but it could also be a galaxy. Right. Because it's got stars. Right. And it kind of matches my new shirt. Yeah. The new Sugar Geek Show shirt. Yes. And and you're wearing the old Sugar Geek Show. I am shirt. wearing the old hotness, and Liz is wearing the, the new, new hotness. hotness. I love that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, each Sugar Geek Elite member is going to get a sample of these gorgeous um, sprinkles, and by sample, like two full ounces, which is a lot. And I should have brought one of the little packets, but I dumped them all into this bowl. Can we? So. Can we get like a? Do we have a one of those um, bench scrapers, and we could like. We could put them out and like, this is two ounces. Like drug dealers. Yeah. <laughs> We're pushing, pushing the sprinkles. 
so that's really fun. And um, the other things that we're going to talk about today are uh, a Suita Polita kind of um, related. So I don't think she. I don't think you're saying that right. I think I, I am. think it needs to be Suita Polita. 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 <laughs> Polita. You have to do this when you say it. <laughs> yes. Uh, so. She has this cake that's on her blog that's gone viral. It's super beautiful. And it's a black buttercream cake. And it is so shiny and so delectable looking. And it has these sprinkles around the bottom. And then it's just got some little uh, dollops. I almost said squirts. That sounds weird. <laughs> little squirts of buttercream. <laughs> dollops of buttercream on the top. And it's just super simple, but it's just really, really beautiful. And yeah. I just think it's a good example that you don't have to have a very overly complicated cake and still look beautiful. Right, right. right. So we used her blackout cake recipe, her blackout um, buttercream, I don't know if that's called, I don't know if that's actually what it's named, but that just it's sounds like right. It's like black out the days on your calendar for the days after you eat this, because you're just going to go, oh, for like 72 hours. <laughs> Dan so. might have ate some scraps last night with some ice cream. Yeah, yeah. I have to, like, I've been trying a lot of other cake decorators' recipes lately, and um, if you've been watching for a few weeks, you know that I'm a big fan of Yolanda Gamp's uh, vanilla cake recipe and her chocolate cake recipe. And for this one, I wanted to try uh, her recipe, Sweet Apolita's recipe. And it has got a lot more steps involved into it. And it's got things like buttermilk. And why are you looking at me like I said something funny? <laughs> you mean Sweet Apolita? <laughs> yes, yes. That's hers. <laughs> And um, it's so good. Yeah. We, uh, we had some scraps, and I had Dan taste it, and he did this thing. He went, okay. Um, uh, oh! Went, like, oh! <laughs> like he was not going to be impressed and then was surprised. That it was really, I, well, it was, yeah. It's so chocolatey. I've tried so many chocolate recipes over the years. Yeah. Liz, I think, took scraps. two and a half years to make her own chocolate recipe. So she was trying every little thing. I, I want to say I'm, I'm a chocolate cake expert at this point, right? I've had, I've put in my 10,000 hours of eating chocolate cake. You poor thing. And um, <laughs> this recipe is, it's at least top three, if not the best. Super good. Very it's flavorful. It's really good. It tastes just like a brownie, but usually when you eat chocolate cakes that are brownie or devil's food cake or whatever, they're, they're usually too chocolatey or they're kind of dry or they're... They taste like coffee, or they taste something, something's a little Does off. this recipe have coffee in it, Michelle? It could use coffee or hot water. Coffee or okay. hot water. Yeah. I don't think it needs the coffee. No, the, it tasted perfect. It was just like a brownie, the but secret it wasn't too ingredient, chocolate. The secret ingredient is this guitard cocoa noir, Dutch cocoa powder, which, if you know me, I love Dutch processed cocoa powder. And it's just got like a really strong flavor of cocoa powder. Yeah. And um, it doesn't really look that much different than the regular cocoa powder that I use. Oh, it smells so good. She just took the lid off uh, though, and the whole room so is good. fragrant now. It's ridiculous. But as you can see, it results in a very, very black cake. And yeah. this recipe has no food coloring in it. It's just, right? No food yeah, coloring. No it's food just coloring. this black cocoa powder. And that oh. result, it's just... It's, it's a so heavy good. bowl, too. It's you can so just good. tell. It's so moist. And it uses buttermilk, which Michelle and I learned that you cannot use the powdered buttermilk because it will not work. <laughs> so this is the recipe that didn't turn out, right? Because we used powdered buttermilk? Well, it turned out. It just sunk in the middle uh, at the a very end. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's still really good. But we still ate it. <laughs> is there a question? Yes. Yeah, so um, Sharon wants to know, is it good to carve? Oh, I definitely think this would be good to carve because it's made with AP flour, so it's very, very sturdy, and it's um, it's just really, like, moist, you know? So I feel like Yolanda's recipe has got a really good flavor, but it's a little bit drier because she uses simple syrup for all her cakes. I hate that extra step. I don't know why. I just don't like it. <laughs> and chocolate cake is just it's one of those recipes. It's really hard to get that that perfect balance of mm -hmm. the chocolate to the moist to the all the little like the denseness of it and i, I just think this recipe do you recipe remember the name it. of this recipe i don't know okay i'll have to look it up but it, i'll post a link to it after we do the live of the actual link to the recipe but it's um on sweeta polita's website okay and then we have a couple of other things here we've got two buttercreams is this all for me yes if you were to, if I were to ask you what color this buttercream is, what would you say? Would you say this is black buttercream? Um. He's like, is this a trick question? <laughs> I, I'm nervous. <laughs> I, 
I would say it's a very dark gray. It's just, it's so shiny that it's, It is a very dark gray. It's a little deceiving. So this is sweet, Sweeta Polita's <laughs> <laughs> recipe. This is, um, it's like a Swiss meringue. It's like an easy buttercream type recipe. Okay. And this is my easy buttercream with the same the Dutch cocoa powder and uh, a little bit of black food coloring in it. So two recipes. This one, a lot of steps. This one, same amount of steps. <laughs> and which I same feel, amount of steps is that one? No, th this is just easy buttercream. So it's okay. like literally pasteurized egg whites, powdered sugar, cocoa. whip whip it, cocoa powder, butter, done. This one has something where you add like hot hot water to it and. Um, it gets chocolate. really soft. It is very shiny, right, but, right. you know. Yeah. So, I I uh, don't want to put this recipe down or anything. I'm just so lazy. Should I'm we do so a taste lazy. test? <laughs> not yet. Okay. Calm down. <laughs> well, I, the one thing I just want to talk about is the fact that this is not black. But okay. it will be black. So, a lot of problems that people have when they're making black buttercream is that um, they keep adding food color until it's the color that they want it to be. So they'll add like a quarter cup of black food color, like a whole container of black food coloring, which after a while you can taste. But what do you think? What do you yeah. think black food coloring tastes like? Like bugs. That's a good yeah, probably bugs. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't taste good. It tastes bitter actually. It's kind yeah. of just like a bitter flavor. So you want to lose. Not, not that I'm just over here eating bugs mm, all the time. I don't sure know what bugs. Bugs taste and like. vodka. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, so what you want to do is you want to make a nice dark chocolatey buttercream and add as little amount of um, black food coloring as possible. Okay. No matter how much black food coloring you put in there, it's still going to dye your teeth a little bit, right? But the point is, is that you don't want to taste it, but maybe not have black buttercream for like your wedding. <laughs> or if you're a goth, I mean, th this maybe would save it's you part of your right? fashion, right? Yeah. Just put it on your lips. Um, Avalon did snag a little bite of this and her lips were legit black from when she went to school. So that'll be fun to explain to the preschool teachers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and so, so what I just want to uh, confirm with you is that when you make this, you make the black buttercream, making it chocolate, you take about a cup of it out and you melt it down in the microwave. Not you don't want it to be hot. What are you doing? You're taking a cup of the chocolate buttercream out. This. Yeah, like okay. it's just chocolate. Oh. Like it's just got okay. the cocoa powder in it. You take a cup of it out, like while it's mixing and do its thing. You put it into like a measuring cup. Put it into the microwave for about 15 seconds, depending on how hot your microwave is. Mine's super hot, so 15 seconds is like max. It might take yours 30 seconds if you got one of those fifty dollar deals. And then you put your food coloring into that hot melted um, buttercream mixture. And what that does is it coats your gel, which is like water based, okay. with fat. It makes an emulsion. Oh, that sounds like a fancy word. Emulsion. Emulsion is just a fancy way of combining oil based and water based something into, like, a, what's that? Like dressing called that's like, like olive a oil, vinaigrette? a vinaigrette. It's oh, the okay. vinaigrette of the cake decorating world. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we're emulsifying the fat with the liquids, which is the food coloring, and then you pour that into your main batch of buttercream, and that distributes the the color into the buttercream. But it will just be a dark gray. But tomorrow it will be black. Oh. I know. Exactly. The the um. The food coloring continues to do its magic the overnight. The food coloring and the cocoa powder does its magic overnight. So it, you might have experienced this phenomenon where you make a chocolate buttercream cake you haven't. Don't listen. <laughs> I would eat the cake and then it would come out black. You might. Right? No, no, no. I'm talking about just chocolate buttercream. Oh, okay. So you make chocolate buttercream and you put it on the cake and it's like a light brown color and then the next day it's a dark brown like almost like a super super dark chocolate and that is just because um the chocolate actually oxidizes with the air and gets darker okay. so your cocoa powder is going to get darker your a black food coloring is going to get darker i'm pretending that this is a serious serious conversation with him <laughs> smirks at me like a five-year-old so anyway the point of that is just don't you don't have to worry about it being completely black because you, okay. you don't want to dye your teeth black okay. right yep so um it's gonna get blacker and better blacker and bigger or no like <laughs> <laughs> I've been playing too much Cards Against Humanity. Right, right. <laughs> if, if you play if you that... If you don't know what that is, 
You're missing out. Don't look it up. <laughs> I'm gonna go get our cakes. I saw know? I saw that in the Target. Um, I saw that in a, in a Target store, the Cards Against Humanity, really? in the kids section. What? And it was sold out, and I was like, "This is the opposite of a kids game. Like the <laughs> absolute opposite. It's like super adult rated card game." But it was sold out, so yeah, super whatever. Fun, though. Super fun. Super fun. All right, Dan, do you remember what we've learned about doing our final coat of buttercream? Um, it back. needs to look like this. This is the crumb coat. Okay. Oh, oh, so this is the crumb coat. Yep. And we're doing a final coat. We are. I don't yes. remember anything about the final coat. <laughs> so do, we need to, do I need to demo? Yes. Because okay. I'll stop talking when you demo. <laughs> oh, I definitely need to demo that. Yeah. Okay, so we have our uh, Sweeta Polita Black recipe <laughs> cake in here. And we filled it with some teal, just regular Swiss meringue buttercream, uh, the easy buttercream recipe. And then we're going to go over it with a nice, healthy dollop of our almost black buttercream. So we're going to do the top first. And then what do we do? We pet the kitty. That's right. Thank you. <laughs> pet I remember, but I, was, I wasn't supposed to talk. So. <laughs> oh, we're petting the kitty. Petting the kitty, petting the kitty. This is a really great consistency. It's nice and creamy and shiny. Which one is this? Uh, this is the easy buttercream. So this is my recipe with just the cocoa okay. powder. And that's that's the... The um, Sweeta Polita. Sweeta Polita <laughs> recipe. All right, so once it's level and sticking out off the edges. Okay, so right? a little hat or, or a, a hairdo. What kind of hairdo is that? <laughs> it's just like, you know... And then we start adding some a nice thick layer of buttercream to the outside. This is just so generous with your buttercream. I am because it just saves you time, right? Okay. You just really slap it on there. This is gonna look so pretty when we cut it. Absolutely. Ah! This is a little bit soft. A little bit softer than normal, I feel. Yeah, you're throwing it around. That happens anyways. <laughs> So you can, I kind of put, a, I kind of focused on this upper edge first. Okay. And then I'm going to come back down and put some around the bottom. Okay. So I'm going to do that. And this is sitting on top of a six inch cake board underneath the cake, but then that's on top of a 10 inch cake board just for ease, ease of scraping. Oh yeah. There's two of them there, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So you do that part. Okay. You start with yours, All and right. then I'm going to start scraping on my side. Okay. Ugh. So using the bench scraper, um, one of the tips with using a bench scraper is that if you're trying to get straight edges with a bench scraper, and I mean, this is a 90 degree angle, so if, as long as you hold it straight up and down, you should get straight sides, unless you do something like this, like that. So you got to not only hold it up and down, but you have to uh, uh, make sure that you're not tipping it forwards and backwards as well. Okay. Yes, Michelle. Michael wants to ask what type of cake is it again, and then Tammy wants to know how long can the cake sit out on with this type of buttercream for a party. So this is Sweeta Pavita's blackout cake recipe <laughs> with um, the buttermilk and all that, and I'll post the link to that after we're done. And this is my easy buttercream recipe with the guitared Coco Noir, which sounds so French Ooh. and delicious. Smells really good. Coco Noir. And about, what do you think, a, a tablespoon of... Uh, food coloring in it, mm -hmm. you know. What what type of food coloring is it? A mirror color, mirror color, color, black gel. Black gel. It's not like super black or like extra black. Or well, it is like called that. super black. Oh, it is called. But there is black. no non super black, so it's oh, just black. Okay. So how long do you think you'll be able to stay um, stay out on a party and be fine? Oh, um, this is the only thing you really have to worry about is how hot it is during the day. You don't have to worry about the buttercream going bad. What I usually do is I chill my cakes overnight in the fridge, and then that morning I take it out and put it in its box for transport, and then just tell them to leave it on the countertop until they're ready to eat it. Because it needs a few hours for it to come to room temperature, and that's when the butter gets soft and gets delicious. Now, should you put a cake in the sun? Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. So as long as it's not in the direct sun, you're okay. Um... We should do an experiment one of these days uh, where we put a cake in the sun. The shade versus the sun. Yes. Like outside under shade versus outside in yes. direct sunlight. Like there's a difference. Yeah. And if you ever have to deliver a cake like I have, 
and it's 110 degrees outside, and the bridal party decided they wanted to put five hot lights on the spot where the cake's going. Like, that's how it felt, you know? It's like super hot, and they want to have a buttercream cake sitting out in the direct sunlight at noon. You take a picture of it on your phone before you leave, and you say, this is what it looked like when I delivered it. That's right. Yes, ma'am. All right. So Sarah wants to know, can this cake be delivered to England? <laughs> <laughs> you tricked me, Sarah Myers. Oh, uh, Sarah and I are going on a very special trip next um, week that may or may not be in England. I don't even think I'm supposed to talk about it yet. Oh. Yeah, mm. so I was like about to say something, then is I was it like, for Wait, like MI6 is or this, something? Is this a secret? <laughs> well, so an actual real question, yeah. Sarah. <laughs> She's laughing right now. Um, they want to know if you people don't like chocolate, what can you do to Get make out. the frosting black? <laughs> and, the only thing to do if somebody doesn't like chocolate is to add full-on... Um, black food coloring and it's going to taste bad. So I think this is one of those opportunities that you need to just explain to your customer what do they like better? Chocolate or having friends? black food coloring? <laughs> like the taste of black. Maybe bring it to the tasting and be like taste this. This is what it will taste like. So you know like, like the taste is important so you really need to keep that in mind and tell them that it has to be chocolate if you want it to be black. I can't overdo this, right? Holy cow, Dan! I'm not even like looking. <laughs> That's I'm doing a good job, though, right? You're holding your spatula it very a rustic. little, a little wonky. <laughs> Hold it like this. It's a little rustic. <laughs> Well, I haven't even done that yet. I'm just dolloping on the Yeah, cake. but you're but you this is the way you want to hold your spatula. Okay. Well, your your bowl is the worst. Oh, it's oh, that's sliding that, around. That's the problem. And that's why I had to hold it different. There you go. There we go. Okay. Now it's just magically not moving like it was when I was doing it. It's definitely not user error. <laughs> so I have my uh, sides straight, and I didn't go all the way down to the board because I wasn't. Michelle kind of did a hefty crumb coat, so I wasn't sure if the blue was gonna show oh, through. Really? Yeah, so I just kind of left it a little bit thicker, and then now I do the do the outside scraping first, Dan. Okay. You don't okay. don't bring don't bring. See, I my all my edges are sticking up still. Oh. So you scrape down the sides flat first. Okay, and I have to have this like straight up and down. Yep. And then just and do not little, this little way, bits right? at a time. Don't like scrape off the whole, you know, bit. And then once your sides are straight, then you can come in and just uh, smooth up that edge. I feel like swearing when I do this. I'm so like concentrating so hard. <laughs> well, it definitely comes with practice. And I think that one of the great things about you doing this year after, or not year after year, week after week, is that people can what? see you improving, <laughs> improving, you know, like from your first time to your second time. I just think, Dad, after the first 10 years, I mean, you're going to get it, right? It's like, what? <laughs> what are you saying? It's so shiny. I'm just, I'm not going to worry about getting it absolutely perfect because it's the, it's the kind of the, the sprinkle cake is not perfect, right? Exactly. I'm going to throw this into the freezer so it chills up really fast. I'm running out of spots here. Put this. It's looking put gorgeous, it in my mouth. Man. <laughs> That's when you just start shoveling it into your mouth. <laughs> you just, <laughs> you just go like this, and you just have all that. And you just, ah. Oh. <laughs> there you go. There you go, Dan. That's a nice, clean, cleaner area for you. Yep. It's definitely food. You got safe. yourself a little hole there, a little bubble. Oh my. If goodness. you were not to fill that in, then you could get like a big blowout, even under buttercream. Like if I put fondant Ooh. over this. No, even under buttercream. If there's air trapped underneath your buttercream, okay, so as soon as it went outside and got hot, that air expands and it will literally blow through your buttercream. Wow. And it'd be like... <laughs> it'd be like, boom! <laughs> here it is! Yeah. Just like that. So I'm you just want to take a look at your spatula and fill that spot in. Not this? No. No, like okay. this. Just clean it off a little bit and just, you know, cover that up. Push it in there. There you go. Okay. A band aid for your cake. That's right. All right. All right. Got another spot. Your your uh, your cake is. I don't think it's. I don't think I'm doing it it's right. It's not quite straight up and down yet. Okay. We're working on that. All right. So just keep going. I'm so slow. 
I always liked watching um, Buddy Vol Velastro. Yeah. From Cake Boss, because like um, he was always so fast at doing stuff like this. I'm gonna be heating up some water and pretend that we're not talking about Cake Boss. <laughs> <laughs> We don't, we don't watch the Cake Boss we don't, again. We don't talk about that. We don't talk about Cake Boss or Fight Club. That's looking much better. Okay. I mean, this is like what, like the third cake that I've done like this? That's right. You're oh, and then, job. and then, um, I, I, don't tell me. Not yet. I don't even do that yet? You gotta keep scraping down the sides. What? You haven't hit your board yet. Oh, okay, okay. That's how you know when to stop. And this will be the test to see if Michelle over crumb coated. <laughs> It'll be a galaxy cake. <laughs> I did it on purpose. <laughs> well, at the bakery, we actually never crumb coated. I just taught the girls how to fill and uh -huh. then finish coat it uh -huh. just to save time. Yeah. So I was in the process of that. And, and then I'm she's like, like whoops. Whoops. <laughs> this is actually kidding. supposed to be black. <laughs> Sliding my good. turntable around. Yeah, it looks great. So while Dan is finishing up his. Um, while Dan is finishing up his cake, I'm going to talk about... Oh, oh that's looks there cool, we go. though. It's all right. His is going to be slightly Oh, cool. I just put some of that teal that's back right. in there. It's okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to talk about making some ganache out of water. So it's a water ganache. And I have a tutorial on the sugar yeet shell, too, the golden drip cake. Yep. Um, heart of gold drip cake. It, and the reason... I get a question oh. all the time. <laughs> Whoops, I was spinning and I just went with remember my fingers how, right into the Remember how I told thing. you not to do too much at once? <laughs> uh, apparently talking is you're my getting, limit. You're getting more and more curved. And you're, oh, I am? And you're ripping off your, your frosting. And your cake. And your cake. And I'm also getting frosting on my fingers. Yeah, so so this the important thing to remember is remember to just do little bits at a time. And, okay. to, and to clean it off as you go. Okay, because I was taking too much at once, right? Yeah, yeah. You're, just, okay. you're getting a little bit too aggressive with your thing here. I'm very aggressive with my hand. So we scrape off the bench scraper. Because the more buttercream that's on your bench scraper, the more it grabs onto the buttercream and wants to tear it off. Oh, right? okay. So we're holding this straight up and down. Yep. And I'm literally I'm taking that much off. Oh, okay. And then I'm scraping it off. I think I was trying to figure out how much I could get on the bench scraper before I had to scrape it off. Oh my god. Um, so That's literally the not That's like the worst thing. It's <laughs> right? literally the opposite of what you want to do. I really love how that teal okay. is popping yeah. through though. Yeah. So so that much and then scrape it off. Oh, okay. Like, like, like scraper not it's kind of like well, I mean, just explaining why that happened. Yeah. So if you hold if you hold the turntable here, like at nine and three, right? Okay. By the time your arm gets over here, that should be enough. What What would my hand get? Is that at six? Yeah. Okay. That's. I mean, that's that's kind of a yeah a good way to to measure. Okay. Am I, I never done? paid attention to that. No, I want to make you do it just in case. So I just have that much. Mm -hmm. There you and go. And scrape it off. And also hold your bench scraper more down here. More at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And then come in like this or come in like that? Well, see, when you when you come in like this, like at this angle, this is good. But yeah. you still want to make sure you're holding straight up and down. Because when you push down at an angle like this, that's what's making your cake sides combed. I thought this was like at the wrong angle. That's the wrong angle too. Okay. Do you you get what I'm saying though? Is like is this, you, you have I, to you have to make sure that this is straight up and down. That doesn't look straight up and down though. So like if it was this way, this is like straight up and down. But if you come this way, that's not straight. If you come that way, that's not straight. Okay. Okay. So so that that's straight, right? <laughs> <sighs> I love the the teal showing through. Actually, it looks great. Me too. This is so stressful. Um, part of it too is just you know it's on top of a, a cardboard. Yeah. So if it was directly on top of this um, turntable, like let me move this actually for you, Dan. Can you stop for a sec? Oops, grab that non-skid too. Oh, oh. There you go. So if the, if I this is directly on top of a turntable that's big enough to have your whole bench scraper on it. Yep. Because it's got this curved part in here, you okay. can't tilt it. 
Oh. So that helps a lot. Oh, okay. So that's okay. a good tip for if you're really having problems keeping the sides straight, put it on a turntable that's big enough that you can't tip it. And if you don't have a big enough turntable, Innovative Sugar Works has a turntable extender. Absolutely. That you can get. The only reason I'm using these IKEA turntables, which are S H I T, <laughs> is just because they're lower, so it's easier for the camera to see what we're it's, doing. That's that's a um, that's a cabinet at IKEA, right? Look, look at this. Called that. Look at this. This is terrible. Not a good turntable. Okay. Um, water ganache. Water ganache. Water ganache. So, ganache is typically made with melted chocolate and cream. When you're using white chocolate, then you want to do a three to one ratio, which means however much water you're going to use. I'm running out of places to, to get this it's okay. cleaned off here. That's fine. You just, this is how you clean up your bowl. This. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. So, um. Everything's sliding today. You should just be quiet for like. One minute. <laughs> yeah. Be quiet just as long so as you're, say the same thing you're to my kids. <laughs> so, um, water ganache is typically made with melted chocolate and cream. Uh, for white chocolate, you do three to one. So, whatever how much cream you're using, you would use three times as much chocolate. So, uh, like a bag of candy melts is um, 12 ounces. So, if it was chocolate, like you know, dark chocolate candy melts or melties or real chocolate or whatever it is you're using, you would use uh, half as much cream. So eight ounces of chocolate, four ounces of cream. If you're doing white chocolate, then you, if you had 12 ounces of chocolate, white chocolate, then you would do four ounces of cream. Hopefully that makes sense. It's a ratio. So I have 12 ounces of um, pink candy melts in here. And whenever I do this, whenever I add the water, people are like, what? You can put water in chocolate? Doesn't that make it seize? Yes. If you put like a drop of water in it. Okay. So if I put like a little bit of water in here. But if you put all the negativity of Manhattan in it, then it's different. <laughs> what are you even talking I'm about? I'm talking about Ghostbusters 2. Oh, okay. This looks like the goo from Ghostbusters 2. Oh, gotcha. So you see that? That's that's seizing. So the, the chocolate is literally like, ah, ah, and it doesn't like the water, right? And it doesn't want, I don't want to accidentally make a joke about seizing chocolate. Right, right. You literally scraped all the way down to the cake again. <laughs> what's, what's wrong? I thought you told me to do that. Okay. You're like, keep going, keep going. <laughs> but you you held your uh, bench scraper Thank not you. straight. Oh, that's why it's. What? That's why you revealed I your cake. So now we have a semi naked cake. <laughs> it's trendy. It'll be trendy again. Don't worry. I want to swear so bad. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> all right, I gotta make this right now. So. All right. So remember that word that we were talking about earlier called an emulsion? Yes, uh, yes. If you add more liquid, then you create an emulsion instead of it being more chocolate. It looks like, uh, like um, bubblegum. It does look like bubblegum. So I'm going to add the rest of my water into here. And I'm going to mix. This would be better with a whisk. Do you want a whisk? When I whisk you, whisk we whisk. I was literally just like that. I put head. my head up on the whisk. When I whisk you, whisk we whisk. <laughs> so I'm creating an emulsion with the water and the chocolate so it becomes like a glaze and not like seized chocolate anymore. Am I supposed to put this cake somewhere or do something to it? You want to try and practice uh, the top? The top? Yeah. And yeah. we'll just call it a semi naked cake. There you go. Okay? We'll call it a Liz told me to do this cake. I have a few little uh, unmelted pieces of chocolate in here because I was trying to help Dan with his semi naked cake. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to pop it back in the microwave for like 30 seconds. Okay. All right. I don't want anyone to help me. Okay. I think I'm supposed to start from the middle and come out. You're helping me. I'm not helping you. I'm, okay, I'm so just I'm supposed to start from the thinking. start from the edge and go into the middle and then stop, and then you go. <laughs> and remember not to <laughs> go. Okay. Remember not to go all the way across the cake. Yes. You did that one time. Right, 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 right. The, right. The, the problem is this tears the butter. Actually, cream. let's try a, let's try a small spatula. That's what I usually use. It's a little bit easier. Okay. I thought that Liz was you humiliating me for a second. I can see it. Oh my god! No! What are you saying with my Let's small spatula? Let's try the spatula. beginner spatula. 
you know, <laughs> for all the people that have no talent. Oh. I thought you were going to say GEDs. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you can see the chocolate is melted. And it's looking fabulous. So this is, this is what you call water ganache, which is kind of a stupid name because if it doesn't have cream in it, it's not ganache. So it's just like a way of explaining what it is. Mm. Does this taste good? Not as good as ganache. Like the cream is legit what adds the taste to it, right? It makes it so delicious. But it's literally just going to be a little drip. Look how good you did. Oh, I'm, doing, so I'm doing a good job? You're doing yes. a good job. Oh, oh that's geez. awesome. No, it's it looks got my finger in it. Well, that's normal. So this is good <laughs> just to go. Looking. You don't want to use this right away because it, um, it's kind of hot right now. It's getting hot. Does anybody have any questions about water enough? <laughs> why why would you hilarious. ever? <laughs> why would you ever use water ganache? Because you don't have cream. I don't have cream. That's so good. So literally, the only reason is that you don't have an ingredient, so you do it with something else. Yeah, I mean, um, if you don't want to use cream, like actually, some home bakers are not allowed to use cream because oh, it's like against the rules. Right. Okay. Which is stupid, and just goes to show you how much health inspectors know sometimes. What is that? Um. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> for putting the ganache into. I have post-traumatic cake disorder. <laughs> I blew that up a couple times. Ago. Oh, God! <laughs> I'm going to put this in the freezer, okay? Okay. Yes, Michelle. Brittany would like to know what brand of candy melts are you using? I am just using the Wilton candy melts because they come in colors. Ooh. You can, however, color them. So I have some pink food coloring here from Renshaw. So let's say this is not like bright enough for me. Because it's already got liquid in it, you can add it to whatever color you want. What? It does take a lot though. So it's all sorts of, save I yourself feel, a little bit of money. I feel like baking is like one of those game, those this card like games that has like the book now. of rules. <laughs> Look how bright this is. That's, that's intense. A little, I think I added a little it's bit It's a to vampire myself. cake now. So Black and it's got blood on it. So, um, um, what I was going to say, uh, the pro gel is super concentrated, yeah. so I probably should have used like yeah, 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 a fraction of that. I wonder if I add white. You're going to town with that. I was see, like, I'm she gonna, knows what she's I'm doing. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna add white food color if that'll fix it. Let's see here. Yeah, I feel like I feel like cake decorating is like playing Magic the Gathering or one of those things where like there's so many rules and exceptions to rules. Mm -hmm. It's like you can't put something into the ganache because it seizes, but if you do the thing with the water, it's fine, and then you can put more stuff in. I like it's giving like, my bloody ganache. It's like, huh, when do I tap my manas? What? You wouldn't know. <laughs> oh look, that helped a lot. Wow. Yeah. So I just added some white food coloring to that. We'll say we did it on purpose. There we go. Anybody asks. It's a happy accident. Yeah. I actually lightened it up a ton. Call it gourmet ganache and put it on wow. put it online. Crazy. That looks beautiful. Cool. All right. So that's that. Okay. So part two. Um, water ganache. Ratio. White chocolate. Three to one. Three to one. Three to one. Three times as much chocolate as water. Uh, dark chocolate or milk chocolate. Two to one. Twice as much chocolate as water. Clear? Any other questions about water ganache? No, ma'am. In case you it. just have signed in, this is water ganache. It's made with water and chocolate. It's it's not the goo from Ghostbusters 2. It is not the goo from Ghostbusters 2. I gotta grab my pans. Did you put away my pans, Michelle? No, ma'am. You oh. put them underneath your... Oh, I did! <laughs> 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 I can't wait. I'm well, excited. I like how you went to that because I do just put everything away. You do. <laughs> she always puts my stuff away, and I'm like, well, stop putting my stuff away. Okay, so I'm going to add my beautiful sprinkles. The best part. Oh. <laughs> my cake has been chilling. Okay. Like a villain. Oh. You're going to say that. I know. <laughs> These are our lovely sprinkle mix guys are from. Dogs. Who's this from? <laughs> Sweeter, Polita, sweeter, Polita. <laughs> so I'm just going to uh, pick some sprinkles up into my hand and just press onto here. Okay. And rotate. You got a high one. 
I know, that one got a little bit crazy up there. I'm gonna focus around the bottom. So we do this over the top of the pan so that they don't bounce around as much. <laughs> <laughs> still got some uh, still stragglers. Bounce, still bounces quite a bit. We got, we got some jumpers. You can see that the color is already darkened quite a bit. I would call that black. As black as you'd want buttercream to be. Yeah. You know? It's like a 90% gray. Yeah, but compared to the whiteness of the sprinkles, it looks black. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh my god, that's so fun! I die. <laughs> you die? I die. It's just sprinkles, Liz. <laughs> Here, I'm actually just gonna use this. Okay. Oop. And then I'm gonna grab my cake. And I'm gonna hide this one. In the magic cabinet. Yes. <laughs> that, and we won't forget where that is this time. <laughs> Try and set this in here without dumping it over the side. Ooh. Uh, so pretty. It's on the crappy turntable. Swear words. Ah, swear words. <laughs> <laughs> pretty. I just want to eat it. I know. <laughs> My hands are really dirty. Yeah, this is a lot of fun though. Do you want to do yours? Okay. He's like, eh. <laughs> Can we do demo time two times? <laughs> like, Avalon, two minutes, two minutes. Yeah. There you go, Dan. All right, you just put With it there. Your, oh, I'm no, supposed you to hold it, yeah. This is like Charlie Brown if Charlie Brown had a black and teal shirt. Yeah. It's, it's teal Charlie Brown. All right, pressing, pressing, pressing. While your cake is still cold from the freezer, taking my water ganache. And the more I was putting on, the better it was looking. Stop talking about cake bombs. Drip. Drip. So cute. And because, oh, and because this is a ganache, Dan has no chance of exploding it all over the cake. Really? A very low chance okay. of exploding it. Well, I know that that can happen now, so... Um... I won't force it with both of my hands. I, there's a there's a stop. I kind of just keep pushing. Obviously, the more drips, like the more chocolate you put over the edge, the further it's going to drip. And my ganache is too warm, so I should have let it cool down a little bit before I did this. But it's fine. Whatever. We got excited. See, that's like a little bit too much of a drip. A little too much. <laughs> a little bit too crazy. It's like on the cake stand. I know. All right, so I think there's more sprinkles in the pan, the pan than there is on the cake. Good job, Dan. And I really like how these sprinkles look, though. It's a yes. really cool combination. I'm just going for it, Dan. Ganache all the things. Going for it? <laughs> it's like pouring over the edges. That looks pretty on top, though. Yeah, stuff's going to start coming out the bath. <laughs> I even thought, I was like, this feels a little bit warm. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> it's live! That's Derek! It's live! Alright, and then I'm going to take a couple of these sprinkles and put them right there in the Ooh. center. Oh, that's so pretty. They're even moving. I know. Just the ganache moving. I know. And then I'm going to take some of my... Do you want a cake stand, Dan? No, I'm good. You're just going to hold it? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, not that one. I was gonna get you a green or a black one, but oh, okay. I have a pink one that that, that would have been perfect. I know. Do you guys have tons of cake stands? You get the like giant, a whole garage full of the them. The giant cake stand. <laughs> Dan's overcompensating. <laughs> like guys with big trucks. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna finish off by putting some of the black butter cream in my piping bag. Um, I am using pack. Truly Mad Plastics disposable piping bags. Oh, okay. Do you like those? Do they work good? I do because I really don't like washing my piping bags. This is an 806 tip. Okay. And we're going to do some dollops. Ooh. Ooh. Now, these are supposed to be dollops, not poopies. Damn. That dollop did toot, though, when you were put, when you were, had it. So you push down, down, make a big, and then pull up. Like, okay. a, like a Hershey's Kiss. Okay. Do you want to use some of this beautiful, dripping, overwarm ganache? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, what's the right answer here? I don't know. <laughs> you know, sometimes when your spouse asks you something, you're like, I don't know what. 
<laughs> I don't know what the right answer is. That's the right answer. No thanks. Looks like melting ice cream. It does. Put no, no, I gotta push down more. Get more. Push, 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 pull up. Ah, there, there you go. go. Perfect. I can say that's not pull, nice. see, I, I Push a little bit more and stop pushing when you pull up. All of mine look fast. <laughs> stop pushing when you pull up. Push, okay. push, push, pull up. <laughs> Nobody said anything about pausing for five seconds. <laughs> It was six. There you go. There we go. Last, last one. one the last perfect. one is okay. And it's then okay. It's not good. Take a little bit of sprinkles and put it around the outside edge. Okay. We got like two different drippy versions here. I love it. No, around the edge. Edge, edge, edge. Not on the little thingies. There you go. Because we're trying to recreate the cake that she had. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. I'm not trying to be a, like a decorating Nazi. <laughs> I don't know what you, what you want me to do. Yeah. What do you want? The Nazi. What do you want from me? What do you want? There. Here we go. I love it. Sweeta Polita. Sweeta Polita. <laughs> so, if you are a member of Sugary Geek Show Elite, yes. membership, then not only did you get an airbrush tutorial and the gold mine cake tutorial, but you're also going to get the sprinkles. Yeah, yeah, the sprinkles, sprinkles in the mail. Sprinkles in the mail on the 1st yeah. of August. Yes, they're going out the first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, recap if you need to rewatch episode one. In that episode, we learned how to. Part one of episode five. Part one of episode five. We uh, learned how to make black cake yeah. using chocolate noir and black buttercream and how to not do a drip with too warm of ganache. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Would this melt? Would this actually melt the buttercream of the cake? No, no. it's just too hot. You see, it's okay. see it's setting down here. Okay. Can you see it? Why was it? Why was it hot? I don't. I don't know anything. I about just this made stuff. it. Okay. So, so I it literally gets hot just, when you make it. Yeah. You melt it. And then you let it cool down before you let it. Oh. Go. So it should okay. be around like eighty-five degrees, maybe. Okay. Probably like a hundred. Oh. <laughs> but I was in a hurry. Yep. You know? Um, you were just so excited. I know. I'm going to, I think I'm going to cut this. Yeah. I think yes. that would be a lot of fun. Because it's really pretty. It would be a lot of fun. I want them to I see the dance. blackness of my heart. <laughs> we already know that. I know, right? Okay. And it's got the teal buttercream on the inside. I'm so excited. So excited. And, and then could, we get to eat it. And you could do like a dollop for each. Serving if you yes. wanted to, right? Or, or two dollars. Two oh. minutes. Two minutes. I'm so. I really need to get it off this stand. Can you just move that for me, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like wobbling as I cut. It's not a good feeling. I want to like cut a big slice. Two dollars. Do you need a plate? No, I'm just gonna like feed it directly into my mouth. Oh. <gasps> That's what winners do. Alright, I'm gonna grab from the cake. Oh my gosh. Oh! Ooh. So pretty! Ooh, yeah, that looks so nice. So you can see how black it is on the inside. Mm -hmm. Black like my heart. <laughs> I love it. And it tastes so good. You know, yeah. Bite. Bite uh, again. Bite. Just go for it. Just go, go for in. it. Ah! <laughs> good job. Can I get a finger? <laughs> yes, I have a nub now. <laughs> it's very, very good. It's very chocolatey. Oh, it's so good. Mm-hmm. Is that so? No, say. <laughs> oh, my mouth is literally watering as you're like eating that. Oh, like, man. Oh. Why do I got to be cute right now? <laughs> Dan's like, I've got black food colored all over my mouth. <laughs> no. That's why I made him take a bite and not me. <laughs> so I will put a link to this recipe up on this. Um, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to YouTube.com slash Sugar Geek Show for when this live goes up on there. Oh, Dan, you want to make an announcement about this thing that we just launched? Yeah. Um, if, if don't so look at my teeth. Because <laughs> I look like I got all my teeth, I'm gonna my zoom teeth up. knocked out. It's kidding. <laughs> Big zoom in. <laughs> um, we just launched SugarGeekShop.com. And yeah. what do you buy on Sugar Geek Shop? Maybe the t-shirts. And you can buy cake tutorials individually. We don't have every single one of our paid tutorials on there yet, but we've got like 25. And we've got the Lumberjack cake tutorial on there. A lot of people are like, 
I don't want to sign up for the membership. I just want this tutorial. So we got that one up on there. And we, we got also a bunch have of the other tools. ones. We got tools. We got molds. Mm -hmm. We got. And we're going to be adding new stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. Oh, and where's our, where's our chocolate skull at? It's around here somewhere. Oh, it's so, over here. So um, Liz actually uses a mold that she made that you can actually sell. See? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that was perfect. That's the chocolate skull mold, okay? So how do you, what do you do with this, Liz? I use this underneath for making my faces. So, so like this actually has a, you start off of a skull. I do. And then you do all the I sculpting. Do. So if you're a member to sugargeekshow.com, then you have probably seen me uh, make uh, faces by sculpting off of a chocolate mold. And that's what this is. And it used to be a silicone mold, but now we have developed right. an uber inexpensive lightweight mold such yes, as this one. Yes, yeah, it's plastic. Um, they want to know if, they have, uh, if there's international shipping for the Sugar Geek show. Yes, sure there is. Yeah, shopping. we ship worldwide. Um, unfortunately, it's kind of expensive because shipping internationally is expensive. But we do ship internationally. And all premium and elite Sugar Geek Show members, if you log into Sugar Geek Show, you go to the discounts page, there is a discount for 20% off everything on Sugar Geek Shop. Sweet. And we're going we're gonna to keep that going, like... Indefinitely, so. Alas, poor, what's his name? I knew you well. <sighs> it's been a while Mercurio? since I've... No. No, no, it's been a while since I've been in Hamlet, but I want to say it was Rosencrantz or something like what? that. What? No. Alas, poor Rosencrantz. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't remember. I'm going to be doing a live at some point where I demo this baby and go into details over it, but I just wanted to just... uh give you guys a little sneaky peek yep, yep. and go check it out and see what we have on there and if you want to get a shirt which people have been begging me for yes. months to buy yes, it's finally on there, on there. and uh, also a lot of the tools i use like my yellow magic tools the mini tool set gold dust face molds all kinds of jazz and so we're going to be adding new products on there like so when we get them in and stuff so. stuck to my face somewhere you probably do probably it's do. all stuck right here no so it's like you know when you have lip gloss and no you don't know that <laughs> You know, when you I have lip know gloss anything in, about and then like gloss. your like a random hair sticks to your lip gloss. And yeah. You know, when you got makeup on your face and you're wearing a dress. <laughs> I hope you don't know that. <laughs> so you have a talk again. Okay, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for Probably watching Sugar Geek Show live. I will be in the UK next week, so I'm going to try very hard to do a live episode of the Renshaw Academy from the UK next week, live on Sugar Geek Show page. Ooh, so yeah, that'll be really cool. Yeah. And then we'll just be here chilling, doing whatever, eating leftover cake. Yep, yep. <laughs> uh, all right, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys Thank next you. time. Bye. Bye-bye.